Princess Diana decided to fight back against Prince Charles after he tried to show himself in a better light following the scandal surrounding his affair with Camilla Parker Bowles, sparking the detonation of the Diana bomb, her friend revealed in a tell-all documentary. Princess Diana and Prince Charles separated in late 1992 after 11 years of marriage but it was not until August 1996, after multiple affairs, scandals, and two explosive TV interviews, that the royal couple's divorce was officially finalized. Following Diana's final speech to the press indicating her plans to withdraw from public life, it marked the beginning of something more intrusive. In 2017 Amazon Prime documentary The Story of Diana, Vivian Perry, Diana's charity partner, revealed what the start of the detonation of the Diana bomb was. She said, that was the documentary about Charles, made by Jonathan Dimbleby. Mr. Dimbleby's film aired in June 1994 and was intended to show the Prince of Wales in a better light following the scandal surrounding his affair with Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall during his marriage to Diana. However, it had quite the opposite effect. In the infamous TV interview, Jonathan Dimbleby asked Charles, did you try to be faithful and honorable to your wife when you took on the vow of marriage? The prince responded, yes, absolutely. Until it became irretrievably broken down. Simon Perry claims this made Princess Diana think, I need to have a voice again. Elizabeth Vargas, an ABC News anchor, said, I think if she wanted to even some scores, she knew how to use the media to do that, too. The Princess of Wales was due to attend an art gallery that day and the car that she was arriving in stopped about 100 meters away. With photographers waiting, Diana strolled straight towards the cameras looking like a million dollars. Meredith Etherington Smith, a fashion journalist, said, Princess Diana used fashion as an extremely efficient weapon. People were falling over themselves to take pictures. Arthur Edwards, a royal photographer, claims, you knew the next day the story was going to be about Charles and the adultery but the picture on page one was going to be Diana, and it was.